Hello again. Today we're going to talk about single replacement reactions and the, um, how reactive different metals are. If you look at the back of your periodic table, there is a list called the activity series. At the bottom of your periodic table, is this list. The most reactive are on the left, the least reactive are on the right. The one that's missing from this is lead. And I think lead is in the one... Yes, lead's right above hydrogen. So you might add that to the back of your periodic table. Okay. Uh, different metals have different activities. Some metals are very active, such as lithium, sodium, potassium, and cesium. And we've seen those, we've seen videos of those reacting with water. Some are more inactive. And an activity series is the ranking of the metals and according to their activity. So we're going to test metals and we're going to rank them. Okay. The background information is what type of reaction are these? Are these synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, or double replacement? The title gives it away. It's a single replacement lab. Our beginning question then is which of these metals are the most reactive? All right, you're going to have samples of aluminum, tin, magnesium, zinc, iron, lead, and copper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven samples. And you're going to have solutions. Silver nitrate, lead nitrate, aluminum nitrate, zinc nitrate, copper nitrate, copper 2 nitrate, excuse me, and zinc 2 nitrate, and tin 2 chloride. Okay, and then you'll have well plates. So, the first thing you're going to do, you've got a well plate. You're going to label the well plate. My suggestion would be take this, get a piece of paper. And you're going to label, going across, if we look at the um, data table I put in, your, in the lab, going across, you're going to have silver nitrate. And I would do it, of course you can't see that. I would just write the cation. I wouldn't worry about the nitrate. And then the next one would be lead nitrate. Kind of like if I hold these up, maybe. You hear that? It's almost, actually it's the right size. Look at that. You can just set it right on top of the, pay, the lab sheet. It's the right size. Then going down, of course it's not the right size, you're going to need two of these because you have seven metals you're going to test and there's only four spots. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is label. And label your solutions going across and down. So step one, label metals going down on your well plate. And then step two, label the uh, solutions, or you can just put the cations if you want to, going across. So we'll have AG and lead nitrate, and so on and so forth, and going down, aluminum and tin and magnesium, and oh, lots of fun. All right. Step three. You're going to put a small piece of the metal in the same row that it's labeled. So if our first one is aluminum, we're going to put aluminum all the way across all six wells. And the next one is tin. Same story, all the way across. That's step three. Step four, you're going to do the solutions. So this time, going down, we're going to put the silver nitrate all the way down through the four in this 
the first plate and you'll have two plates like I said because you'll have seven so you'll put your silver nitrate all the way down and then you'll put what's next lead to all the way down and so on and so forth a few drops enough to cover the metal that's in there okay after five minutes you're gonna take the metal out with forceps so that you can see what's happening so if this is your well and this is your little piece of metal you're gonna get a pair of forceps which are just a fancy name for tweezers and pick it out and I would get a lab sheet and I would actually make a grid on a plain just get a piece of uh, paper copy paper and I would make a grid and so in this first one if you had we were doing aluminum going across and this was aluminum plus silver and you can write down what happened okay make a data table in your book lab notebook and you can write down whether there was a reaction or not and I would put the little piece right above it so you can see what was happening okay um, after that we'll talk in class about how you're going to do the write-up and what you need to do for your reactions and that's actually going to lead us into our next topic so there you go